Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and this is Ashlyn and today we are here to do the part two of our essential oils collection. We did a part one where we shared the singles that we have in our oil collection but today we are going to focus on the blends that we have in our collection. Basically a blend is a combination of a bunch of uh, essential oils and they smell really good. They have lots of different purposes and so I've broken them down into different categories to try and make it a little bit easier for you to understand them. So we're gonna start with the first category, which is um, the ones that we like to diffuse or use during the spring and summer months. These are my warm weather essential oil blends. So the first one is purification. And purification is basically your oil that's great for um, the stinky smells, or I like to use it to make uh, an outdoor spray where you spray it on your body to help keep away some of those outdoor annoyances that like to bother you during the summer months. So the second one is Citrus Fresh. And Citrus Fresh is basically a combination of all the different citrus oils, but it does have a touch of spearmint. So when I diffuse Citrus Fresh, I like to do mostly like three-fourths parts um, Citrus Fresh, and then I do a drop or two of spearmint just to kick that up just a little bit. And it's just really refreshing and it smells really good. Next, is Stress Away. And Stress Away, they call it Vacation in a Bottle, and it is the perfect summer um, essential oil. We diffuse it all year round though, just because it's so calming. Um, I like to diffuse Stress Away with extra drops of lime. Actually, I do more parts lime and um, a, a few drops of Stress Away, and it smells like a margarita. And then if you do it with orange essential oil it smells like a cream sickle so that is a great one that's probably my husband's favorite essential oil um, he loves that one in the diffuser with the lime essential oil next is joy and i like joy joy is very floral you have to be careful with it so because it's a little bit strong um, if you're one of those people who find floral scents overwhelming, you just want to use like a drop or two of this in your diffuser. So I like to diffuse Joy with orange. Basically, orange is kind of like my essential oil single that I use to cut down um, some of the harshness of some of the essential oils that I, I like to diffuse. So very floral. So if you like floral scents, Joy is a good one. They also say it's good to put a drop over your heart and it does smell good. It does make a good perfume, but you just use it very sparingly. And then the last one is Peace and Calming. And Peace and Calming um, is very popular in the Young Living community. Um, it's not one that I have gotten myself um, completely hooked on. It does smell good and it is growing on me. I'm not sure what's in it that I'm not a huge fan of. Let's see what's in it and then I, I might be able to tell you. So Peace and Calming has tangerine, ylang ylang, blue tansy, orange, and patchouli. And my guess would be that it's the patchouli that keeps me from absolutely loving it. It is growing on me. So let me smell it again. Do you like that? But it's, I can smell that patchouli. And it, patchouli's one that, you know, people either love it or they hate it. And I don't really hate it, but it's not my favorite, I have to be honest. So, Ashlyn, out of all of those essential oils for spring and summer, which one is your favorite? This one. She likes the purification, and it does have a really good, nice, clean smell. It smells like lemongrass. That's mm -hmm. probably why you like it. And then my favorite would be the Stress Away, because it just smells like vacation in a bottle. And I'll read to you what Stress Away, you want to smell it? I can tell you want to smell it. I'll read to you what Stress Away has in it. Stress Away has copaiba, lime, cedarwood, vanilla, okatea, and lavender. And it just is very relaxing and calming. All right, our second category for our essential oil blends are the essential oil blends that we like to diffuse or use during the fall and the winter months. So the first one is Thieves. And Thieves definitely reminds me of Christmas time. It has like the clove and the cinnamon and it just smells really good. But we use this one all year round to help support our wellness. It's good with orange, it's good by itself, it's good with peppermint. It's, it's just a really good essential oil blend. Next is Christmas Spirit. And Christmas Spirit smells like Christmas. You know, it, it just smells really good in the diffuser. Come November, December, and January, I'm diffusing this one quite a bit. 
I do add some extra orange to it because um, I just like it that way and it just reminds me of cookies and things like that baking in the oven so it's a good one for the um, Christmas time next is abundance and abundance is said to bring abundance to you if you um, diffuse it or apply it topically um, it's one that I was very excited to get, but once again, there's something in it, and I think it's patchouli. Let me read what's in abundance. Abundance. Orange, clove, cinnamon bark, frankincense, ginger, black spruce, patchouli, and myrrh. And once again, it doesn't smell horrible to me. It's just that patchouli catches me off guard and I have a little bit of trouble with it. It's one that if I'm going to diffuse it, I only use like a drop or two. And I also cut it with some orange in the diffuser. So, And then the last one is Believe. And this is a good one for the fall and winter months. It does have kind of that tree smell. Believe has... Idaho blue spruce, Idaho balsam fir, frankincense, coriander, bergamot, ylang ylang, and geranium. So it has no basil, but it does smell like it has basil in it, and I really like that one for the fall and winter months. So, Ashlyn, out of those four, which one is your favorite? Um, I think my favorite is Believe. Believe, yes, and that's a good one. My favorite is probably, um, I love Thieves, but I love the smell of Christmas spirit. It smells really good in the diffuser, so... Those are our fall and winter essential oil blooms in our collection. All right, guys, we are back with our third category, and this would be the wellness category. And technically, thieves could be added to this category, but I put it in with the fall and winter um, essential oils that we like to diffuse and use. So the first one for this category is Raven. And Raven is your go-to essential oil blend for opening up and supporting your respiratory system. Um, I like to diffuse this one with Thieves. Um, it's very minty. It has like a kind of like a wintergreen smell to it, and it's just good for supporting the the airways. Next is. RC. RC. And RC is very similar to Raven in the fact that it's good for the respiratory system. They both do a good job with that, but I prefer the Raven to the RC. But um, they both do about the same thing. And then the last one that we have in this category is Digize. And Digize is good for digestive support. Um, they say you can take a drop of this and rub it on your tummy or put it on the bottoms of your feet if you need extra digestive system support. And there's something about Digize that um, the smell kind of, it's not one that I totally love. So let's see what's in it real quick. So Digize has tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anise, and patchouli. So once again, um, another essential oil blend that has patchouli that it's okay. I'm just not drawn to it. So, all right, Ashlyn. So which one of those three essential oil blends is your favorite? RC. She likes RC the best. If I had to pick one, it would definitely be the Raven um, as my favorite. So our next category are the essential oil blends that are good for supporting your fitness goals. And so the first one that we have is Energy. And this is a newer essential oil blend to me. Um, they say this one's good to put on your wrist or you know on your the back of your neck when you're getting ready to work out and things like that. Next is Cool Azul. And this is basically good for supporting your muscles after you've had a workout. Um, it has that very minty, cooling sensation that you like to put on your muscles after, after you've worked out. So that's that one. Next is Panaway. And Panaway is also another essential oil that is good for um, putting on your muscles. So both Cool Azul and Panaway would be good for adding a couple drops to some coconut oil and rubbing on your shoulders or your neck or whatever area needs additional support. The next one is Aroma Seas. And I really like the smell of this one because um, it has a strong scent of basil to it, but it is also another good one that is um, suggested for um, adding to coconut oil and rubbing on muscles and things like that. And then the last one is the only one out of this category that you can actually digest. And it is the Sleek Essence Essential Oil. 
and so this one is good for supporting your weight loss goals basically you can add it to water your favorite beverage i like to add it to the sleek tea and it's got a combination of citrus and some um, mint um, essential oils in there that are good for supporting your weight loss goals so ashton out of all of those which one was your favorite The aroma seas, and I would say that was my favorite too. Let's smell it real quick. Yeah, I think I really like the smell of that one. I really need to get a big bottle of that because it does come in a big bottle. Actually, this is my favorite. You like that one because mm -hmm. it has all the citrus stuff. Mm -hmm. Let me read what's in aroma seas real quick. Aroma seas has basil, lavender, cypress, marjoram, and peppermint. Like I said, I'm just really drawn to those um, essential oil blooms that have basil in it. All right, guys, we are back with our last category of essential oil blends that we're going to be sharing for today. And this category is kind of like our miscellaneous category because um, they're not the ones that we use a ton. Um, and we'll talk about each one. So the first one is Clarity. Now, I do love the smell of Clarity because I want to say that the first oil in it or the strongest oil in it is basil and it has that strong smell of basil. Let me smell that one. Yeah, that smells good. Next is Aroma Ease, and I think I got this as a freebie um, one of these months. And I'm not a big fan of Aroma Ease. Let me see what's in it. Peppermint, spearmint, ginger, cardamom, and fennel. And I think it's the ginger. Um, kind of like patchouli, ginger is one of those smells that I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, it's just that smell that I'm not really drawn to. Next is Inspiration. And Inspiration, I wanna say it's the one that smells a lot like wood. Let's smell it. Yes, and what I smell in there is the uh, Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood. It has sandalwood in it. It has cedarwood, black spruce, myrtle, coriander, Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, frankincense, bergamot, vetiver, ylang ylang, and geranium, and it just smells like wood to me. Next is Envision, and Envision is kind of florally because it has in it black spruce, orange, sage, geranium, lavender, and rose, so it smells very floral to me. Yeah, I smell the flowery scents to it, okay? Another floral smelling um, essential oil blend is Gentle Baby. And let's see what's in Gentle Baby real quick. These are the ones that I'm not as familiar with because I don't use them as often. Let's see, Gentle Baby has coriander, geranium, palmarosa, lavender, ylang ylang, Roman chamomile, bergamot, lemon, jasmine, and rose. So once again, it has a lot of um, the floral essential oil singles in it. Next is Loyalty, and I absolutely love the smell of Loyalty. Now, Loyalty is the essential oil that you get when you've been on essential rewards for um, a year, and it is loaded, um, it's loaded with essential oils. I just like the smell of it. Do you like the smell of that? <laughs> she does not care for it, so, but I love it. And then the last one in our miscellaneous category is Melrose. And I got this one because it was good for um, skin support. So I have um, some issues with like breakouts and things like that. So I sometimes add this to my um, facial lotion um, just to support my skin. So it has tea tree and things like that in it. So it's not one that, that you would want to diffuse or I wouldn't want to diffuse. It's just more that you, uh, an essential oil blend that you add to support your skin. So. If you have any questions about Young Living um, essential oils or their products, feel free to ask questions in the comment boxes below. Um, and I'll leave my membership number in the description box. So if you're interested, members get a 24% discount. So it is worth it to be a member. And so if you are interested in that, um, feel free to use my membership number in the description box below. So um, we've been using Young Living essential oils and products for over four years and we love them. So I hope you guys have a good day. Until next time. Bye. Bye guys.